Okay. All 20,000 loads. You start in your number one, and you cut your center tank off at 1,000 pounds and top your mains off. All 21, 22, 23, 24,000 loads. You shut it off at your center tank at 2,000 and top your mains off and open it back up and finish it. Anything over 24,000, you let all three tanks go after you start in your number one in the center. Completion. Good. Thank you. <laughs> and just listen to it when you're at home. Exactly, yeah. And like that, when you get a 20,000 load, you know to shut it off at 1,000 in the center. Right. And you open your, your number two, you know how you do it. Right. You finish your mains, open it back up, and finish your center tank. That depends too in uh, 21, 22, 23, 24. You shut it off at 2,000. And anything over 24, 25, 26 on up, you let all three tanks go. Right. And if you see your center tank catching up with your mains, cut it off. And let your mains run a little further and then open it back up. But you want your mains to fill up first. Right. Always. Right, right. You never want your fuel to override your mains. So always shut that tank off. Yeah. Shut that center tank off. Because fuel will run off. And it'll make the mains shut off early. And you'll be wondering why. Because you because you let your center tank override your mains. Right. So that creates that creates more pressure in your mains. So always let your mains fill up first. Yeah. But but it's easier to fuel that way. Because if they want to cut the fuel, you don't have all that fuel in the center tank. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just kind of keep that in mind. Go over your little recording. Yeah. And that'll keep that'll keep a reminder of you when you get your fuel loads. Right, right. And all small loads, you start in your number one and then open your number two. Always keep your number one ahead of the number two. If if it's all if it's getting to eighty five and your number two is caught up, it don't really matter. Okay. Because your mains is full. Anything from anything from eighty three to eighty four, your mains is just about full. Oh, okay. You know you got to turn it off right, at eighty five. Right, right. So, but like you said, the small, the small loads, like 17,000. Yeah, yeah, you start in your number one. And give that 200 pounds in the center. If you go to 300, that's fine. It ain't uh, a big thing. But always keep in mind, give that 200 extra pounds. Whatever, whatever load you get, right. give them that extra 200 pounds. If it's 24.5, you give them 24.7. Seven, yeah. You know, that extra two. And you will never go, they never called us back. Right. From the whole duration of you've been training. Right, right. They never called us back because we give them that extra 200 pounds. But that's not really necessary that we gave them the 200 pounds. It's just that we gave them the right fuel. Right. And we gave them the right gallon. And always, always do your calculated gallon. Right. Always. Whatever we have, whatever... Uh the rock no fuel fail. is subtracted from the from the total fuel. And then do your density, and then get the fuel. Right. Always do your calculated gallon. You can either do it before, or you can do it while you fuel. Right. So either way it go, is is up to your discretion on how you want to do it. But you want to do each step the right step, right. the right way. Some people, some people. Some people do it uh, before they start fueling. Me, I got it down to where after I get my information on my paper, I start fueling. And then I do my calculated gallons while I'm fueling. Right, right, right. You know, either, in the way, in the either meantime, way it go, always do your calculated gallons. Right. Because that way you know how many gallons 
you got to pump on this plane before you even finish. Right. You know how much fuel, you know how many gallons you got to get this, this fuel load requires. Right. So it, 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 you're going to be fine because you're taking notes. See, so some guys don't take no notes. They just figure, you know, <laughs> you know yeah. they, I mean, if somebody trained me, I'm going to pay attention to every little detail. Honestly, yeah. There he is. And even his little tricks, of his little different tricks. Yeah. But don't never cut corners. Well, the main thing is to stay. Stick to your procedures. If you stick to your procedures, you'll be fine. In order to mask, is in order to master to get over there. The actual, the actual uh, 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 procedures. Right. You have to learn the basics. The basics, yeah. So that's that's why I took a lot of time. You know, to get to, everything in your mind. Exactly, because it, it's detail to detail. But right. In, in the end, you put all of those details together as one. As one fueling, because there's so many things to learn about fueling. Over the years, you will start seeing different ways that you can fuel those planes much quicker, like at a snap of a finger. Right. You, your mind will just mature and program itself to where you can fuel a plane at a drop of a dime. Automatic, yeah. Automatic. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like I said, you gonna be fine. Yep. You, 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 my best student because 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 you take interest in what you do. Oh yeah, I love it. Oh okay, yeah, love it. Man. Circle your aircraft, I mean the flight number and the aircraft number, they got 31 in each tank. That'll be 6.2. They want 20.4, you're gonna put 85, 85, 3.4, 20.4. Put your cart number, 4026. Put your start number. 730-1313. Put your name. Do your calculated gallons. Six point two minus twenty point four. Equal divided by six point six three. Equal. We're gonna pump twenty one forty one. Now we can fuel. There you go. 